it's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. Hey, I got the freshest, dopest, nastiest taper in the game right here. I'm about to do on my boy, Jordan Lacey. I don't know if y'all familiar with some of the YouTubers, but he's a YouTuber with his girlfriend, Sierra and Jordan. Uh, Jordan used to be uh, on all the things with Chris Sales and Armand and Trey and uh, Jazz and people like that. So he has a long YouTube history. So if, if you caught up with that, you know who he is already. If not, you can check out some of those other people, right? So anyway, back to the haircut. You see got a lot of curliness going on right here. So you, you want to lay everything down first. And today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to start from the back of the haircut today just to show you so the thing about it the same steps that i use on the back is going to be the same steps that i use on the side so the first thing you want to do is make that first guideline right and you just want to try to get it as even as possible work your way over make sure everything is neat now for video recording purposes sometimes it's a, the angles are a little off uh, because I'm trying to show you exactly what I'm doing on the haircut, so don't judge me too hard. But I'm trying to get the uh, the line straight. My first guy line, I did that with my babbleless trimmers. Next, I came in with my walls, right? The magic clip, the metal magic clip walls, and I used them open to make my second guy line. The thing that I want to show you is the guidelines and how you can create the guidelines to where you don't go up too high on a tape or a fade, anything you want to do. So next I use the one close and I come up and I make the third guideline. Now I talked this method before on other videos, but I just wanted to reintroduce it again right here. So you see, I made three guidelines, one, two, three, right? That's what we're doing. So after that, you just come back and you clean all the clean up all the guidelines. Every guideline that you made, just take it away. So fade it out until it's all the way gone. So that's basically what we're doing right here. I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit, but you can watch now. Um, to get the guy the bottom guideline out, we use no guard, clean it up, work it, open the close until we can get it. If it doesn't go away all the way, you come back and you use the trimmer, the size of the trimmer. Then next you come back with like a half guard, clean up the rest in that top line at the top, you're gonna use like a, a one and a half to clean it up. You can use a two, work your way down to a one and a half to a one to get the look that you're looking for. And now for something completely different. Now this is the part about the one and a half I was telling you about on the on the on the thicker part of the hair. Now you can use the two. I use I chose to go with the one and a half because I already kind of know exactly what I want to do to it. But if if you don't know exactly how to go into it, use a two guard. Work your way down. Open the close. If that don't work, then you use the one and a half. Open the close, and so on and so on. You just go down some. So. You know, so it's all about just taking your time, being careful when you need to be careful. Some have response to different levels of guards than others. So, you know, maybe a two on some, a one and a half on somebody else's hair, it probably don't even take nothing off. But on his hair, it will. So, and remember to always just go up and go up in and out when you're fading, like a scoop in motion, the scoop in motion everybody talk about. So just remember to do that and remember to keep, combing the hair down if you see my technique i'm just steadily combing the hair down so i can see the pattern of the hair
after you get through working away all the necessary guidelines, you see the taper it came out clean, it came out nice. I know it's a little bit blurry right here, but I'm going to zoom in where I fix it later on in the video and you can see how clear it is. So now you just want to start on the lineup on the back and you see I created a point around his ear and brought it up to meet that point that's how you do a lot of the curves so for that side that's what i did you see the line is nice it's perfect you see the dark areas right there he's trying to grow his hair out so i don't want to bring it up that high but you see how i got the face sitting it's it's already just it's nasty already right so drop me a fire comment down below if that taper is just so nasty drop me that down below but anyway look also i got other videos on you know how to do tapers and you know life aids and how some of these clippers work some reviews i did on clippers you can check those out too so anyway so you see the the lineup a lot of people do tapers differently so you know some make a round shape in the back so they can leave the outer edges very thick so they can get a line me i just do mine this way because that's the way i always do it now you see how clear it is now now you see that that, that tape are nice. That's nasty, right? So that's the look that you want to get. Now we're going to work our way over to the sides. And now for something completely. Now, once you get to the sides, it's pretty much the same process. So I'm just going to show you a little bit some of this stuff, and then I'm going to speed it up later on. But you see we make that first guideline. It's right above the ear, right just above the ear because he likes a high fade right so we're gonna clean it up we use the little shavers the andy shavers you shave it clean i know i could have did it on the back but he's sensitive on the back of his neck so we didn't want to do that now we're making a second guideline you see that we use it open just like we did on the back we use the one close here again to make another lineup you see that you see that we're making another guideline i mean so and I'm coming back and I'm just cleaning up those first two guidelines so I get to the thicker part. And like I said, at the thick part, you can use a two, you can use a one and a half, whatever works for you. I'm going to just let this play. I'm going to let you watch and see. Now, sometimes you have to use clip over comb. This is the one and a half. By being thick, you have to use clip over comb sometimes to get it to where it can respond the way that you need it to respond. And clip over comb, I have videos over there too. I'll leave some links uh to cards or some in the description of other videos i did using these techniques and you can just go straight to them and view them so i'm gonna let this play and then we're gonna come around to the front and now for something completely different Now, when you get to the side, we got it faded. You see that taper is blended perfectly. It's nice. It's nasty. Once again, so uh, you can kind of see his natural lineup right here. So, and it's not too thick on this side. So we're gonna fill it in. We're gonna use some enhancements to get it to look a little fuller because the other side is actually full if you pay attention to it. This side is not so. But anyway, you still stay on the natural lineup, and you can kind of see his curve. So it's not. You don't have to do too much. So. Remember, just stay on the natural lineup. Sometimes you have to push it back just a little bit 
to get it right because sometimes the hair just overhanging where the natural lineup is. You have to be able to see the natural lineup to hit it in the right spot. Now you see the curve. Now we come back and we're going to do the side right here. And you don't want to push it back to the dark area. You just want to keep it right there in the front. Watch where I put it. You see where I'm putting that at? That's where you want it to be. So you want to do that on both sides. Try to keep it as natural as possible. When I turn them to the other side, you'll see how full it is. And after that, you just want to use something to knock the front part down. He doesn't want it too low. He still want it thick. So I took a two guard close and I just followed the flow pattern of the hair, whatever you can see. And that's why I'm using the comb so I can get the flow pattern down right. You see it? Combing it. Cutting it down. Just kind of raking over it. You know, kind of using it at an angle. The back part of the guard is really what I'm using to cut this down. So, you know, uh, just be careful with that. Check with them. Make sure it's low enough. They say it's low enough. It's cool. So you go ahead and do the other side. And now for something completely different. Now to the edge of the part. We put a little spritz on it, holding spray. People use different things. I use different things. It just depends on what I have on hand at the time. But this is actually spritz. So I use a good spritz, a good stiff spritz. Uh, sometimes the kind you use doesn't matter. I like something that's not too thick. So that's what I try to avoid. And you see this edge up. It's a little off, but we're going to try to get it together, right? So... We come, we start from one side and work our way over. So we started from the middle, working our way to the right side of his head, right? So now the thing about it is I don't like to try to make it super sharp in the beginning, but uh, try to get it as sharp as possible where you don't have to go over it. The reason why it looks, his edge up looks off is because his hair is actually hanging over his natural line. So on this side, I was able to see it better. So that's where I started from, where I could see his natural line that wasn't where the curls wasn't hanging over it, right? So you see that? So you just want to try to keep it as straight as possible, neat as possible as you can. Try to work your way to it. You see the edge of it's already coming out nice. Now, the thing about crispy lineups is it depends on the person's hair. It depends on how dry the scalp is or the forehead is, the area that you're cutting, because that's going to give it that crispy look. So along with the technique that you're using, and you see what I'm doing. Uh, these Babyliss trimmers are excellent on a lot of types of hair. So I just chose to use these this time. You know, I had a detailers. they good, too. Um... And those really the only two trimmers that I use either. The, it's going to be the Babbling's trimmers or it's going to be the Wild Detailers. I don't really use any other trimmers. But they these work well. So you see how they hit. You see how they do, right? And now we just come over and we work our way from the middle all the way over to the other side. And just try to keep it straight. Try to keep it neat. And then you come back at the end and you do real detail work. And now for something completely different.
on this side we hit them with a little of the the uh, hair fiber I use gold fiber and I always leave a link in the description for that for where you can get the fibers that I use um so we do that we come back with the razor hit it tie it straight in to the edge up you can also use the razor to help clean up some of that fade if you need to you see that see how full and crisp and how neat that looks so that's the look that you want to achieve right there and you you do the same thing to both sides and then voila you got your haircut done it's looking good you know what i mean and when you get to the other side you know just remember you, you're doing the exact same thing so i put the little the little spray on it then i hit them with the uh, hair fiber to make it look that much better and if you put too much hair fiber you see right there i had a little bit too much you just come back with the comb and comb it down get it to where you need it to be come back clean them up hit them with that razor boom you see how sharp it is now just take your time with the razor i do a lot of dry shaving with the razor so that's what i do look how clean that tape is man that's clean right that's the look you want that's that that's that blur they be talking about that blur you know what i'm saying so anyway that's how we do it don't forget like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you know how we do it look in the description box if you need to uh, see anything new from me some of my old videos uh, whatever I'm using some of the stuff that I'm using I keep that down there too so don't forget tell a friend to tell a friend you know how we do it until next time love peace and hair grease I'm out